Join the DZone community and get the full member experience. Join for free in this article. We are going to discuss the implementation of Web API using Entity Framework Core and Stored Procedure. Prerequisites Net Core SDK 6 SQL Server Visual Studio 2022 Agenda Implementation of Net Core 6 Web API Implementation of Stored Procedures Implementation of Net Core 6 Web API Step 1 Create a New Net Core Web API Application Step 2 Configure the application Step 3 Provide additional information Step 4 Project Structure Step 5 Create a product class inside the Entities folder Using System Component Model Data Annotations Namespace Entity Framework SP underscore Demo Entities Public Class Product Public Int Product ID Get Set Public String Product Name Get Set Public String Product Description Get Set Public Int Product Price Get Set Using Entity Framework SP underscore Demo Entities Using Microsoft Entity Framework Core Namespace Entity Framework SP underscore Demo Data Public Class DB Context Class DB Context Protected Read Only I Configuration Configuration Public DB Context Class I Configuration Configuration I Product Service Using Entity Framework SP underscore Demo Entities Namespace Entity Framework SP underscore Demo Repositories Public Interface I Product Service Public Task List Product Get Product List Async Public Task I Enumerable Product Get Product By ID Async In ID Public Task In Add Product A Execute SQL Raw Async is used to execute the SQL commands and returns the number of rows affected Execute SQL interpolated since execute SQL command and returns the number of affected rows. Logging, log level, default, information, Microsoft. ASP.NET Core, warning, allowed hosts, asterisk, connection strings, default connection, data source equals desktop, initial catalog equals stored procedure EF demo, user ID equals SA, password equals database. Step 9 Register Services in SID Builder Services Add Scoped I Product Service Product Service Builder Services Add DB Context DB Context Class Builder Services Add Controllers Forward slash forward slash learn more about configuring Swagger slash open API at AKAMS slash as peanut core slash swashbuckle builder services add endpoints api explorer builder services add sw if app environment is development app use swagger app use swagger ui app use authorization app map controllers app Run, step 10 Create a new product controller. Get product list, script date, October 16, 2022, 11.08 and 29 seconds am asterisk 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 slash set. ANSI underscore nulls on GO set quoted underscore identifier on go create or alter procedure, DBO. Get product by ID, script date, October 16th. 2022, 11.09 and 4 seconds am asterisk 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 slash set. ANSI underscore nulls on GO set quoted underscore identifier on go create or alter procedure, DBO. Add new product, script date, October 16, 2022, 11.09 and 20 seconds am asterisk 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 slash set. ANSI underscore nulls on GO set quoted underscore identifier on go create or alter procedure, DBO. Update product, script date, October 16, 2022, 11.09 and 38 seconds am asterisk 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 slash set. ANSI underscore nulls on GO set quoted underscore identifier on go create or alter procedure, DBO. 
Delete product by ID, script date, October 16, 2022, 11.09 and 50 seconds AM asterisk 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 slash set. ANSI underscore nulls on GO set quoted underscore identifier on go create or alter procedure, DBO. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.